Okay, we're back. Sorry, apparently the timeout. I don't know if I, I thought I could only do one live video a day or something. But I saved it. Now we're back. And should I wait for you guys to come by? Man, oh man, how much time can we actually do? Hey, no, hey, cool. You guys are coming back. So around one point, I, I didn't actually notice that the time and out. The time it timed out. So. I don't know where we left off, but this is where I'm at right now. And so it's just about that bounce. We're going for that bounce. And then we're going to go for the combination of bounces so as to create an effect like the one in the example shown before. But for now, we're just going to worry about these channels. You know, time flies, time, time just time just goes on forever. Little time is a lot of time to somebody else. The older you get, the faster time goes. And you know, the younger you are, the less this makes sense. It doesn't really matter. And then you get old and then it's all like, oh man, I should have, right? Or are we all like super mega geniuses that learn from other people's mistakes? Man, when I was a kid, I used to do these like haunted houses with my friends. Like we would pretend that like some of us would like wait in the... Man, I, I was such a fucking little narcissist, I'll tell you. But what we do is we would organize, like some of us would wait outside and some of us would like try to put together like a story and like, you know, like why it was haunted and sort of like take people through it and then try to get a scare on them. That was like the whole thing, like try to get a scare on them. And you know, it was fun. It's good times. Why was he talking about that? Entertainment, man, I don't know what I was talking about. I don't know what I was talking about before, imitation and entertainment and how people, like we're sort of hardwired to do things that we see other people doing and that work. Because there's no right and wrong, for instance, with something like social media. There's nothing right and wrong, but there are many, many books. There are many, many people that are like, oh, this is the right way to do it. Like, what do you want? What, how, how do you measure success on, on a social media app? Is it with impact, with engagement, with numbers? Is it all just a game to you? Or they, are they not people? You know, it's like these questions. It's, it's these questions that actually make me wonder about how we treat other human beings. And then I realized that I am one and then I'm not exempt from anything. So what I'm doing now is I'm just getting the central lines of my Pentagon, just to show you how it can look. I'm just minding my, my P's and Q's, whatever that means. Man, when I was a kid, I used to go to a friend's house all the time, like uh, this neighbor. I, we moved since then, like this was the other house we did, we live in, and me and my family live in this house right now. But uh, we used to live in another house, and we had a neighbor that we, uh, me, uh, you know, I was friends with. And we used to go over there like every day, and we used to, you know, play video games, and then go outside, we'd ride on our bikes, and there was this abandoned place outside like near and we would go there and we'd sort of like pretend that it was like a little house like a little tree house and you know i found out a lot about myself at those times and there are things that i wish i you know i wish i could have appreciated more for what they were and you know some memories are very painful and some memories are very grateful yeah, you know, I, it's mostly all a mixed bag. Like some things are bad, some things are good, some things are both. And you know, I'm just gonna make I'm just gonna make a, a hobby of wasting my time talking.
right? <laughs> this shape, by the way, there are some patterns that have this like sort of setup and they always do this thing that I don't like, man. <laughs> like if I, if I were to make comment on, on Islamic geometry, there are some patterns that are just wrong. Some traditional patterns are just simply not the best way to do them. And, you know, they can actually be corrected. But, you know, I, that, that makes me, I guess I do participate in the idea that tradition equals death. Right? Tradition will lead you astray most of the time. Like it, it's good to, act, to actualize and update traditions. To just hold them up as this holy dogma that you can't question and that you can't change because that's the way we do it forever. That's death. Like that just like that's that's the end of times. Like that's what's gonna lead us to this extinction of ours. This is it's just the way it seems to me, but it's very hard to convince people that you know we should do things differently. Hey man, how about if we try like this? And then you know, you sound like a hippie. Without sounding like a hippie, like how do you convince people to participate in your your whatever without sounding like you're out of your mind? Nah, a poco, a poco es así. You tell me, nah, nah, it couldn't be. Is it though? You know though. Well, let's see, if there's a calle, that means that the, these two would have to be the same. So no, it's not, oof, that's so good. It's not at that line, that's beautiful. But it does hit there, when folded. So that's also interesting. A lot of relationships come about when you fold like that. So it's because of this segment that this line actually it's there and this relationship actually we, we do have it as well here see that so we actually you know it's double so that's a beautiful thing about this you know it's a lot, a lot of like these sort of relationships happening man oh man oh man wait there's more I used to watch so much TV man Man, I miss TV. Now this is wrong, see, this is this is me, this is dogma right here. This is me wanting it to be there, but it's not there. It's a little higher. Whatever, you know, you, you, you learn as you go. I gotta be mindful of my area of work. That's why I, I, I even marked it. So I think we're almost done, right? We're almost done. Just missing some at the edges here, like this one. So there are several ways we can do those. We can do them by bouncing. We can do it just by cheating, just by sort of like, you know, anticipating. Not cheating, anticipating. But there's also this very nice sort of like area we, we sort of like select. Like this. So then this one bounces down. So again, I'm just putting things into order on my corners. And then when I get to this point, I just fold that down there. And it's very interesting because you're gonna want to do things. Like there are things that you'll be like, oh man, but what, what is this a line? Like I can fall on it, but no, 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 don't. That's temptation for you. That's time to lead you astray. Don't, don't go into the light. No, Jimmy. I don't know. That's like a bad TV joke, I guess. That's how I learn. That's how I talk like this. I, I don't know why when I speak English, this is the way it comes out. It's because I watch movies. It's because I just watch a lot of TV. I'm a Mexican guy. Like I shouldn't talk like this, but it's because of the TV that I talk like this. So, hey, more power to me, right? 
So, I mean, yeah, I mean, a lot of my language, my brain, the way I conceptualize ideas has to do with this slang, this weird, non-existent way of talking. And then it becomes my own. Then it's just like the way I sound, the way I listen to myself. You see The Matrix? Of course you see The Matrix. Like, right? who hasn't seen The Matrix? If you haven't seen The Matrix, you should watch The Matrix. Just out of general principle. Just the There's some interesting ideas, man. Like, the idea that inside of it, you see yourself as you imagine yourself to be. That's a pretty interesting idea, right? Do you ever think about that? Like, how you think yourself to be? And that wild. So yeah, apparently there's uh, several mistakes. Mistakes are being made. But we're doing what we can, right? We're trying our best, even though right now doesn't seem like a very comforting idea, but we are doing our best. And it's fine if you don't get it perfect, the idea is to sort of try to find where these patterns hide, right? So we got three of them. Two left. So see see how I leave that incomplete? I leave that incomplete because that's the radial line where the bounce. So a lot of these Islamic patterns really are that bouncy idea, right? So it's like they get here and then when it hits, it bounces. And when it hits, it bounces. Goes, 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 bounces, hits, touches, bounces, bounces, ba, ba, ba. So it's a lot of these same concepts I'm talking to you about. So a lot of the time you could actually circuit these, right? So you can actually, for instance, it goes here and then goes down. So you can like combine that. You're going to need something to counteract. So if you go like this, you will actually need a line that goes right between wherever it is you want to descend. So my descension is going to be at that line which I've drawn. And the line that is radial to it, like the line, this line though, that's not bolded. It's gonna be it. Oh, see, that's that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about right here, right now. Okay, beautiful. See that? See that? That's a pentagon. That completes a pentagon right there, my man. Hell's yeah. See, that's the thing I was telling you about. Like some patterns are wrong because some patterns like ignore some phenomena. For instance, you can actually like do this thing where it's like. Just to show you, right? Just to give you an example. So see how that works? See how there's a pentagons after the star? You can actually do that. You have a, this is called a 10 3 star because it goes 0, 1, 2, 3, align. 10 3. And after the 10 3, you can actually fit these pentagons right after. So, in the same logic of it, sometimes you can actually get these like partially constructed stars. And you can actually like try to find ways to combine them. And there's a pattern, there's a pattern that's very popular and people don't do this pentagon thing. But if they did, if they did, they, it would be a much more beautiful pattern. But I'm not complaining, I'm not complaining. <laughs> I would never complain. Hell, it's not, not about a pattern. Not, nothing is so petty as a pattern that's traditional, it's been going on for ages. Who am I to say? Who am I to judge, right? Hey. I'm just a mild-mannered Mexican boy. I'm not a boy no more, man. I haven't been a boy for so long, but man. People see me on the streets and they think I am a boy. And I don't mind. It helps me hide. That way people don't suspect the thing. They don't know how evil I can be. So that gives me the advantage sometimes. But people know. People know I'm evil. And they, they keep a close eye on me. And that's good. But I'm only... If I tell people that I'm evil, they'll be like, no, nah, man, come on, you're not evil. And that's only because I think I'm evil that I'm not evil. See, it's the people that don't think they're evil that are, you know, you gotta be look out for them. That's that's the people you gotta be careful with. People that think too highly of themselves, usually, you know, they're crazy. <laughs> I mean, you gotta love yourself, sure, but that's like, loving yourself just to me means just accepting how much of a piece of whatever it is you want to put in that blank space there you are. And being okay with it. Not about being like, oh, everything I do is so great. and Aren't I lovely? Nah. Why am I talking about that and not fully? You see, people, these are the questions. <laughs> they keep me up. No, that's not true. I don't sleep.
You guys still listening to the Health, the World Health Organization? Is it political just to mention that those guys might be, you know, untrustworthy? Is it just too much? Is it just, yeah, whatever? Maybe this isn't the place, right? No, this is a happy time to fold. Not about to throw conspiracy theories about who's who and what's what. Who's who? Yeah, who's who? Who is who? Exactly. Yeah, freedom, freedom, freedom for everybody. I know that I did this wrong. I, like, I'm sure that there are mistakes that I did here. I can just, I can smell them. But right now, I don't care. See, this is a much easier way to do that thing. Sorry if I got out of their frame a little bit. But see, this way, I know that this Kaye, so I have... So the way I can also do the Kayas, as you can see with this one, is to have one fold that goes between, so this would be a mountain, and then the lines that go out of it could be valleys. So it's also where you can think about Kayas. So within that logic, we have this that goes right here, and then, you know, you can just use that as a shadow. So that will save us a lot of time, and you don't have to listen to me no more. Beautiful. Hey, what's wrong with being crazy? <laughs> Nothing's wrong with being crazy. I'm not knocking it. see like the thing about these sorts of exercises is that the more you do them the better you get at them the more confident you become and the more you'll like the results later so at first you know you won't like what you see you won't like what you do you feel confused but the more you try the more you get good the more you try the more you get good yeah just like that yeah. so it's very wise to keep on going even though you don't like it if you don't do things just because you're not liking it then you know you're not gonna do much that's my humble opinion you gotta do things that you don't like doing in order to get to the really cool stuff is this just my five cents philosophy? Is this supposed to be like a self guidebook for, for airports? Oh no, airports are, are done for now. That's right, I forgot. I'm not used to this modern world. I think this is the last line. Yep. Cool. Let's see. Let's see the comments this way. Uh, we got some laughter. Hey, hey, hey. Got some O faces. Hello. We got a thumbs up. We got some eyes. Hey, my dad was here. Fun. Hey, dad. <laughs> How you doing? Look at me now, dad. <laughs> Oh no, wait, I'm, I'm missing one. Man, I know I'm crazy. And I take, I take pride. And that's, it's got me into a lot of trouble in my day. But you know, in, in retrospect, it was all worth it. Well worth it. Just look at now, I mean, schools are done for. Schools are a thing of the past. If I had known before that schools were a thing of the past, I would have dropped out way earlier. <laughs> I'm kidding. Thank God I got an education, right? But, you know, nobody teaches you to think for yourself, which is like the, the most valuable lesson you can get. 
thinking for yourself is necessary. You need to think for yourself. You need to be able to question. But questioning does not mean just saying like, no, 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 that's, that's, that's dumb. That's stupid. That's a lie. And just like blanketly just calling things as lies and saying you don't believe in them. That's not doubt. You gotta actually like work out your imagination a little bit. You gotta be like, well, why is that? Like you try to, you try to imagine it. So the thing about like whatever education or whatever it is, I think that there's two things that can happen to you. One, you're very lucky and the other, you're not so much lucky. If you're lucky, your imagination will be a tool for you. Your imagination will be tuned to reality. That is to say that imagination will give you how things are because you are experienced in the way the world works and therefore your brain, your imagination, whatever it is, will feed you that back. It'll, it'll sort of like have the rules inscribed in your little brain program and shoot you back, you know, what might happen. But it's this experience with nature, with reality that will give you this. There's nothing else that will give you that. And if you're not lucky, um, your imagination will be something that will cause you a lot of suffering. It'll conjure, conjure all the things you're afraid of. It'll make you feel weak. It'll make you feel dumb. It'll make you feel afraid. It'll, your imagination will be something that is against you. It will not inform your world. It will destroy your world. Like imagination can be that easy easy man like i've met people see oh shit like look at this you can actually turn a tenfold design into a ninefold design see that at the price of straightness so just by making it um you know poppy out popping out uh we get to, we get to have it as ninefold so when you see domes that have like a certain symmetry to them you can bet that this is a sort of like logic that goes in. You can build a tenfold design, take away a bit. You have this angle is actually, you can actually calculate how this, I think, that, I think you must be able to calculate. So this is a nine, for instance, and I could take away, let's say I take away another here. You know, I make it eight. I make it eight, but the, the stars are still five. So it's very weird. You can actually like construct this. I think that that's a way to do it, maybe. But you know, if you were so inclined to use your imagination in this way I'm talking about, you can like set it up like this, sort of, and like shoot down the, the lines onto the, well, yeah, no, it's too hard to explain, too hard to understand. I don't know, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, you know, imagination, quite the powerful. Thing. So right now what I'm just going to do is just keep folding in order to get this. So this is this is the goal. This is this is the end game here. We need these stars and then this one pops out as well. And looking at it, there is another star that's inside the star. So it's not that easy just as you know as this one, but we'll we'll keep it we'll keep it simple. We'll keep it. Yeah, we'll, we'll try. We'll try. And yeah, so this is this is sort of where where it gets tricky because it's a lot of balancing act. So yeah, if you read books, you know you might get informed into how reality might work. But if you're not outside, if you're not interact, not you know, I'm not telling you to go outside and right now go with people. But if you go outside and like look at birds and look at bees and look at the things that are out there. If you look at them enough, you'll get to see how they act and you'll get to sort of inform your world. Like your mind will, you know, be informed. So for instance, right now, my mind is telling me like, hey, call it quits. You know, you're doing good, but like, ah, you, you're pulling, you, you know, you're trying too hard. Like, this is good enough. You got your pattern. Leave it at that. And it's like, no, 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 we must keep going. See if we can find any relationships when we fold this thing. Mm. So it does sort of complete here. 
makes you wonder, right? So we can actually see that there's a star there we can also use. And what else? Well, this one acts naturally. It could be a center as well, or something like it. And I mean, this is just the beginning, really. I mean, you could, if you were so inclined, you could take this pattern way further. But hey, you know, I'm just, uh, just an old chunk of coal. So what should I do next? Well, I'm very tempted to just say, yeah, you know what, screw it. We did our pattern, it's marked. Yeah, done, that's it, good enough. But it's not actually folded, right? We just use lines as a drafting tool, as a technique. We could use more lines, do the bouncing, try to get more out of them. Or we could do this thing that I'm gonna do, which is a twist. So I'm just gonna do twist now. So, you know, feel free to join along. I'm sorry if, if I'm losing you. Sorry if I ramble. I ask for your prayers and your forgiveness. Praise. Preach. So, what am I doing? I'm doing even a more smaller little kaya there. And, you know, coincidentally enough, I can actually use that for my weaving. I just realized that apparently, like this distance that I'm doing, it's gonna be perfect. And I mean perfect. Do a little chain thing. So, we'll just keep this going. The idea is to get corners. So how do you get corners? You get corners by noticing your inner polygon. So for instance, this inner polygon, and then I have to select these two. So I select one, I select the other one, and I combine them using this middle line. And yeah, I mean, feel free to keep exploring this. Like there are many ways you can, with what we have already, you can actually find sorts of combinations like the one we were doing. You know, you don't have to keep folding it. You can actually just stick to this one. You know? I wonder why we need acceptance. I wonder why we need other people to validate us. <laughs> am I talking for myself? Yes, I am. I wonder why I need a lot of people validation. Not everybody does has this, but I know I do. And it's sad and I think it's sort of, yeah, it's just sadness. Sadness piled up on itself. Isn't the best advice for sadness for somebody to just walk up to you and say like, hey, don't be sad. Isn't that just like oh, a breath of fresh air? Can you tell I'm being sarcastic? <laughs> so yeah, you see me just like eh, fidgeting with this because it's sort of hard actually. This is actually yeah, sort of. Dude, there's people on Instagram who just like, I see on Instagram and on Flickr that are just like, oh my goodness, how do you get so talented, man? Christ, how do you fold, man? Like, whew. Not even, like, sometimes it's their mind, right? Sometimes it's just like the way they think. Man, that guy, that girl, you know, that, that person is just like, wow, that person's lit. I wonder how they do it. And I'm noticing, I'm noticing another pattern here. Hmm, interesting. Uh, because this would be a, a pentagon, no? So this won't be... So I guess there's another star there. Maybe. Maybe not. Still need some more work around that area. Let's keep going for the twist. Just out of... General principle. So I'm just going on overtime because you know I feel that mission was accomplished. I feel that. Medio complicado is okay. Yeah, no, it's, yes, it is pretty complicated. Is that is that is that Portuguese? 
Meio complicado isso. Meio complicado. Obrigado. É, em português, não é muito isso aqui. Yeah, no, I can get pretty complicated, but hey, there's always a way to make it simple in your mind. With imagination. <laughs> I'm talking like an old school Disney movie now. Man, I haven't watched the Disney movie and I'm talking like the new ones in forever. Not, I'm not planning to watch any of the old school ones. I, I'm not... Some things are better left, you know, where they are. And a lot of that, that's just needs to stay in my childhood. I mean, I don't want to watch The Emperor's New Groove just because I was happy back then or whatever. It's like, no. I don't want to watch The Lion King or Aladdin again. No, fuck that. Why? I don't know, maybe somebody does. And who am I? Who am I? I watched The Thing yesterday. You ever watched The Thing? John Carpenter's The Thing, the original one. I haven't watched the remake. It's the second one I watched this one. It's just, just beautiful, man. It's just a great, great movie. Just the way that it's set up, the way that everything just sort of, it's very tight the way it happens. It's very, you know, within itself. It's great the way that it's just like all set up in the same place. The way it sort of like escalates not too quickly, not too slowly. You know, you think that you know, but then you don't know. But Kurt Russell, man, Kurt Russell's always keeping that that light going. He always keeps his cool. Sort of. It's a great movie, man. Attention. Attention to Bill Sight. Knowing whether somebody else is infected or not. Just that doubt, I guess. Yeah, this is two edges, then they go to the side. I'm going with one by one. One by one. Although, you know, I could actually hijack this because there is a star within the system and I could just sort of extend it. But, you know, when I usually do it like that, I always make mistakes. So I, I don't do it like that no more. So yeah, mission accomplished, guys. Way to go. <laughs> I don't even know if I, if I could do well enough for people to follow. And yeah, so I guess a comment for myself, I would say, is that it wasn't clear the way that the pattern sort of happened. Sure, you need to do the bounce, but what is the bounce? How do I know where to bounce? What's a mirror line? What's, what's not? A lot of improvements still to be made. And... Yeah, I mean, I also, for not being mindful of the of the phone, because it's on top of a tripod and I can't see the screen, I didn't notice that the, the feet die halfway. So that's also my bad. What else? What else? What else? What was the good? Yeah, 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 yeah. Want to get into the good, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the good is, I guess, people are tuning in. I'm, I'm able to keep talking. I don't know if that's good or not, but... I think I'm done. So now we do the collapse. So what I'm doing is I'm just going around my, my center polygon. Oh, wait a minute. Yep, missing one. Yep, that's that one. Uh, what else was good? Well, we did the thing. I mean, I, I got through it. Well, yeah, you got through it. I got through it. But what about the other people? Yeah, that's a good point. What about the other people? Can't just leave him behind like that. No, no, I would never. So again, I'm going around the center polygon, and at the corners, I'm shooting a line all the way out to the end. After that's done, I try to descend. 
I gotta choose the side though, so I'm going to the left. But it's not meant to be complicated. Like once you sort of get the hang of it, it's supposed to be logical. There's supposed to be an underlying like sequence to this. There's supposed to be, you're not supposed to follow instructions. You're supposed to see it. You're supposed to watch it happen and be like, all right, what am I missing, right? But you sort of like need this sort of intrinsic knowledge of the patterns, but that knowledge of the patterns will be acquired the more you fold them. The more you fold them, the more you see or start noticing the the what could be, what couldn't be of them. And you know, hey, for a change, I actually notified the people. I actually notified people of when this live stream was gonna go down. So hey, you know, I'm getting it, I'm getting better. I'm still not getting paid. Hmm. Yeah, is, is payment a sign of success? If you get paid, did you succeed? Not always, right? Not always. Yeah, that's true, that's true. But you know, the time of day is just, it's just too precious. It's not like I'm wasting it though. Well, you make a point and you are sort of greedy, so yeah, well. You also talk to yourself in front of people. Yeah, well. See, the thing about talking on the open mics when I did it back in the, in the day was that I just transcended embarrassment. I embraced being embarrassing and being ashamed, being, I, I, I couldn't be ashamed of myself. I like went through the other side, man, if that's an experience, that's even, I mean, making people laugh and what they call killing is something and that's pretty cool. But when you bomb, like that will, oh my God, that, that, that will change you. That will make you feel different about yourself, about who you think you are. Because your brain is not meant to have everybody just be like, man, this guy sucks. And just like completely hit your guts. That's not meant to happen. But when it does happen, I don't know how to explain it. It's just a beautiful thing. It'll just bring you down to earth. It'll make you humble. Um, through humiliation, you earn humility. Let me know if I ramble. See, the fact is, like, if I'm, if I'm going to make the case, like, yeah, dude, just, just crush it, just do this thing, and, like, I can even do it. No, I mean, I can't do it, but I'm talking at the same time, and, yeah, yeah, excuses. Change your tactics. All right, yeah, now I'm actually using the table. Sometimes you gotta be violent. Sometimes you just got to be violent. There's no other way. Sometimes, sometimes, man, I'm not advocating it. I'm just recognizing that it's there and that it's something that you must not be afraid to use every now and again. But see, that's why you get smart. That's why you, you know, that's why you learn to how to fight, sort of. So that you can know that when is the right time to actually pull out the violence and when to keep it keep it cool. Ah, oh, sweet Jesus, help me! <laughs> there we go. Don't be so dramatic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> Looks like a deck again now. So this is interesting, right? You can see another pattern sort of pop up. This is not supposed to be a pattern. As you can see, like these shapes are connected. That's not usually there's kayas, but like the, these star shapes, you know, they don't make sense. There's a nice star there in the middle, but again, it's like why? But here. You know, you're invited to do all sorts of things. You can, for instance, try to find 
which lines you could actually descend and combine. Not that one. Or you can do the twist again. How much more of the people's time do you want to waste? I don't want to waste anybody's time. So then get, get do something. All right, all right, all right. Easy. It's supposed to be fun. Nothing is as fun as these sorts of flowers, man. At least for me. I just love these shapes, this sort of tatos. As you can see, something is not right. By the way, would you like to have a Zoom class? Would you be interested in actually going deeper into this and just having a live video and actually like interacting? Not just me with the camera on a tripod, but actually going through these steps of designing and sort of finding the patterns in Islamic geometry and just by folding. Would you be interested in that? <clears throat> Would you be willing to sign up? Or should I improve first? Yeah, well, let me know. <laughs> Let's set it up. I mean, I got the time now more than ever. I got the will. And see, now what I'm doing is I'm just arranging so that these line up. So that to me looks nice. That to me looks real nice. It's very satisfying. And satisfaction is key. At least in like geometric design, that's that's a very important element to geometric design. It needs to be pleasing. And that's where the intuition comes in, or at least like your inner guide, and that's what will guide you. But hey, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. There's somebody better out there for you for Demi. Maybe not, right? Maybe not. Maybe this is just what you're looking for. Maybe. There's got to be another star here. Oh, buddy, you can be sure of that. Let's, let's try something different. Let's try to actually fold onto these lines, like actually make a new fold from the line to this point that I just chose arbitrarily. Let's see how that, let's see what that does. You know when a song just pops into your brain for no reason at all? I got the one from Mary Poppins right now. The, Spoonful of sugar. Man, I am insane. I shouldn't say that. It's bad taste. So by now, since I'm not teaching you anything, I'm not engaging with you, I don't feel. And therefore, this is boring. <laughs> is it though? He does it. Mm, I have my doubts about this idea. It's not powerful enough. It doesn't have like the proper channels in order to stick. Interesting concept, but execution leaves a lot to be desired. Let's see what else we got. Well, first off, why are we insisting on the center of deck again? Well, because it took a lot of effort to do, and this better, you know, it better be. Good for something. Yeah, well, that's that's a good point, but 
Maybe we should let her go. Mm. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe we should keep her going. How so? Well, looking at it, maybe we can fold these down and combine it with another one. Oh, that's, that's interesting. I'll bite. I'll bite. Yeah, that is interesting. Huh. Huh. What? Oh, haha. Ha ha. Uh, ha ha. Yeah. Nice. Haha, ha, now repeat that. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. Sort of satisfying. Yeah, sort of is not good enough. How you do it anyway? So what I did was I stretched, I got to that point, I put it down, and then I try to return and put back up. Okay. Okay, so bump, open. Put this down. Back down and up. Okay, can we combine? Down, out and up. Huh. Mm, a lot of turbulence, but still, it's still harmonious somehow. Hmm. No, you see, that's another. Okay. Oh, uh, all right. Uh, I'll, I'll bite. I'll bite. Oh damn! So we can actually. Oh my goodness gracious! What is that? What is? What have I done? <laughs> Oh, and how do I, oh, oh, wow, okay, 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 I'll bite, I'll bite, I'll bite, I'll keep going. Oh, Lord. With a spoonful of sugar. <laughs> I'm more into Johnny Cash nowadays, man. Johnny Cash is just too cool. Too cool. Too cool for school. That's very interesting, actually. This is very interesting because you can actually see the overlap of the shape that is almost a star. Huh. Uh, I, I'm, I'm curious now. Like, I'm just, I, I want to see how this turns out. Let's, let's check the comments, see how we're doing. That was great. Kind of curious if folding the center counterclockwise would have made a difference. My time's up. Everyone have a great day. Hey, yeah, thanks. Yes to Zoom class. Yay. Okay, we can do that. Write your paper on the table. Start a Patreon. Yeah, a Patreon would be great. Not falling, just watch your paper getting folded. Ah, oh, gee, thanks, that feels good. Hey, first new gross layers, yeah, it is. <laughs> Reading the comments, let's just say we are behind these screens, just completely blown away. Ah, oh, it's a G, that's part of warm. Yeah, going on YouTube. Hi, kind of keeper. Hey, Asian Ether, man. Chickies Moore and Sarah, all you guys, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Wait, we gotta. We gotta finish this thing. We gotta finish this thing. Ah, oh, Jesus. It is hilarious, the Emperor's New Groove. You know that guy that does the voices, that Patrick Warburton guy, the guy with the deep voice? He also does several voices on Venture Bros, and he does voices on Family Guy. He does voices on, on everything, man. He's just like a great voice actor. He has this very deep voice, very almost like the guy from Everybody Loves Raymond kind of voice, but different. Well, my my PayPal. If any of you guys are interested, if you want to donate for some reason, 
just you know it's just kamikidai at gmail how do you write a y there you go how do you write in a yeah you guys yeah you get it that's a g that's not an a is it If for some reason any of you guys want to participate in this channel and this whatever it is I do feel free you don't have to if you don't want to but it does help every little bit helps I'll tell you that much so right now yeah we're just doing the things that was, that was done and you know the more I'm doing it the more it's like all right cool yeah it's just come together now the paper is agreeing with us the paper is on my side this time the paper is like oh dude this is amazing thank you thank you for doing this to me the paper says and I say to the paper don't worry about it I got you man when I was in Seattle once like when I was with Adam and Richard and I was teaching the Islamic geometry thing over there um, I met up with this guy called Sam. Uh, he's on Instagram as Sherpako. He's a really cool dude, right? And he, we just meet up and he's like, and, he, and we go out for some coffee. We're talking and we're just like, you know, we, we discuss things. Like, we, it's very cool to talk with that guy. I miss him. He's a great guy. Anyway, so we're talking and and then he's sort of like, we're, we're drinking coffee. And we're, while we're drinking coffee, he's like, yeah, you into coffee, man? I was like, yeah, dude. And he goes, I got you. And I'll never forget him. And he said, I got you. And then he took me to KEXP. Apparently, like, at that place is a KEXP. There's, like, the super great coffee place. Well, it used to be. Nowadays, it's, I'm, I bet it's still not open. But, you know, maybe one day, right? But they had great coffee. And, you know, it's KEXP, right? It's like, oh, my God. That's where King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard played, man. I love that band. And they played there. And Cafe Tacuba played there, so I was just like, oh my goodness, man, this is just like a piece of history. And I'm here. It's like, oh, gee. And I was teaching people paper folding, man. Like, how great is that? How crazy is life sometimes? So there is an overlap. There is a very weird overlap here that happens. So it goes one way, and then the other guy just falls on top of it, which is very interesting. So I'm just putting the corners on each of these. This one is the most rebellious one. This one does not want to be where I want it to be. But on the other side, it's nice. We got a center deck again. It's not flat because apparently I missed. Somewhere I missed. Somewhere I missed. And I know it has to do with this guy. This guy is not lining up where it should be, so I guess we could take it apart and see what happens. Very interesting effect, though. And whether you choose one way or the other, it doesn't make a difference, other than what side is on top of what side, but you know, it's aesthetic. Also, we'll see that you know we can actually raise these instead of like having them fall to one side. We can actually put them all up, 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 up. Raise, raise, raise it up, raise down. If you guys are looking for a very entertaining YouTube channel, I recommend All Gas No Breaks. Speaking of Seattle, that's a Seattle local guy, Andrew Callahan, and he just like travels around going to these places and just interviewing the craziest people on, on, on the United States crazy people but they're so interesting because they it's like an alien convention a flat earth convention the air 51 raid <laughs> it's, it's like all these places that's so funny and some people will believe anything and i think that just goes to show like how deep you know some of these things might go so now i'm tempted to crush this guy
I'm tempted. Let's see how that goes. No. No, it's a little bit too too rough. It feels very, very that we need much violence, much more violence than I'm willing to do right now. And it's not flat, which is, you know, bugging me a little bit. But, you know, you gotta let the paper be, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll be uploading today the one from last time, and I'll upload this one. Because I, I try to edit it down a little bit. Try to get the framing right, or whatever. But yeah, thanks guys for tuning in and whatnot. Let's see if we spin it. Let's see if we have it like this and then what happens if we spin it? Well, apparently it's already there, like the fold is already there sort of, but hey, let's see. It's a very interesting observation by Body Soul Food at Oof, that feels very, oof. Yeah. Violent. So I guess there's also that, the, the grinding aspect of this, like the fact that you gotta, you know, sometimes you just gotta get down and dirty. Yeah, when I was in when I was in Texas and Dallas and things like traveling around that part, just teaching people the magic of paper folding for Islamic patterns, um, I got into an Uber once and I was like, "Hey, can you put on some music?" He's like, "Sure, man." And I started putting on like you know Johnny Cash and Chris Christopherson and all this other you know like country music kind of thing, and the guys just loving it, man. It's just the guys just having a great time. We're just listening to like this southern country things from the 50s and 60s and 70s and it's music that i used to listen to because i was big into movies i used to watch a movie a day because i live in mexico and don't tell anybody this but it's kind of easy to get you know whatever let's not talk more but i used to watch a lot of scorsese and in that movie taxi driver 1974 um i, I can't remember the actress's name she's very pretty but she starts telling, you know, Robert De Niro's character, Travis, that he reminds her of this song by Chris Christopherson called Pilgrim, chapter 32, I think, chapter 34, if not. And yeah, it just says, partly truth and partly fiction, a walking contradiction. No, what was it? He's a pusher. He's a pusher, he's a preacher. Yeah, he's a walking contradiction and just Travis goes like, I ain't no pusher. <laughs> so I think it's, it's, it's great for character development with that guy. I'm just moving this around. I'm turning it over. I'm like exploring it, but I don't see any way out of this one. My mind is not with you. Man, deja vu. Right now, just deja vu. Yesterday was a bird. In the live stream yesterday was a bird hitting the window. Today I get deja vu. Uh, this is this is interesting now because I'm at the at the point of break at the point where this sort of happens I'm, I'm just going in now See how I'm just like pulling back and I stop where I see that thing happen. Boom. I, I stop and Then I sort of on the other side. I'm crushing it depending on this line that goes in So because it's a pentagon, you know, it'll be favoring the fivefold, but if I cut into a deck again it would favor just you know the, the, the ten. Oh, that's very interesting. It actually hits that. Oh, gee. Oh, gee. This is this is interesting. It's hitting that middle line. Like the corners are all matching to the.